Let's balance the chemical equation KClO3 yields KCl plus O2. We'll also look at the type of reaction and write the states. Let's start with the type of reaction. We have KClO3 here, this potassium chlorate. It's breaking down into two separate things. So we start out with the one thing, we end up with two things. Type of reaction is decomposition. Let's balance the equation. We have one potassium, one chlorine, and three oxygen atoms in the reactants. In the products, we have one potassium, one chlorine, and two oxygen atoms. Probably the best thing to do when we have this odd number of oxygens here, let's multiply that by two. So our coefficient of two, that'll make this an even number. Three times two, that gives us six. Then we have the one times the two, two chlorine atoms, one times two, two potassium atoms. Now on the product side, if we put a two in front of the potassium chloride, one times two, that'll give us two of those. So the potassium's there balanced, chlorine's one times two, two of those, they're balanced. And then oxygen, we need six oxygen atoms, coefficient of three, two times three, that gives us six and we are done. This equation is balanced. So the trick is when you have an odd number, it's often easier if you multiply it by two to get it to be an even number. If we wanted to write the states for this reaction, they look like this. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for KClO3 decomposing into KCl plus O2. This is a decomposition reaction. Note that because the chlorine and the oxygen, they're changing their oxidation states, this would also be a redox reaction. Thanks for watching.